Hey you guys, it's Teresa Plus 5 and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a cooking vlog. Yes, I know y'all been waiting on me to cook again. Okay, so here we are. So today you guys, I'm going to be making homemade meatloaf. Yes, okay. Not homemade mashed potatoes, uh-uh. <laughs> Y'all, I don't have no heavy whipped cream, so I can't make homemade mashed potatoes, but that's fine, that's fine, okay? And we're also going to be making um, whole kernel canned corn today, all right? Okay, so that's what I'll be cooking. So let's just go ahead and get started, all right? <laughs> okay, so you guys, to make homemade meatloaf, we're going to need two pounds of ground beef. Well, I think that's two pounds, y'all. <laughs> We're going to need light brown sugar. We're going to need beef bouillon, or better than bouillon, roasted beef paste. Onion powder, black pepper, barbecue sauce, Italian seasoning, breadcrumbs, salt, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> 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 Ketchup. <clears throat> Fresh parsley. Garlic. Green bell peppers. Red bell peppers. Red onions or purple onions. <laughs> Beefy onion soup mix eggs and then the corn on the side and the mashed potatoes the sour cream and chives kind. so these are all the ingredients we're going to need to make this yummy meatloaf okay so you guys joy is going to help me cut up the green bell peppers and the red bell peppers <laughs> Okay, so you guys, we're gonna start adding our seasonings to the ground beef or hamburger, whatever, whichever you wanna say or like. We're gonna add one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of garlic powder, that's one, two tablespoons of onion powder, one tablespoon of beef bouillon, it is. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. We need one and one half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Gotta be careful with these little bitty things. One tablespoon of parsley. Half a cup of green bell peppers. Half a cup of red bell peppers. Half a cup of red onions. Uh -huh. Two tablespoons of Westshire or Westershire or Westershire show wakashuki sauce. Okay, mm -hmm. look like soy sauce. One tablespoon of the beefy soup onion mix. Beefy onion soup mix, I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> Half a cup of barbecue sauce. I know it look like ketchup, but it's barbecue sauce, y'all. <laughs> Two beet eggs, you guys. Three fourth cups of breadcrumbs. I'm trying to get it everywhere. <laughs> I love helping my mom cook. Mm -hmm. It's fun to me. Oh, smell. <laughs> Why does it smell like mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. I know mashed potatoes has chives in it. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's chives or hell. <laughs> oh, jeez. One third cup of milk, whole milk. 
Okay, so you guys, here is the fun part. I'm gonna mash it all up. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, honey. Mm -mm -mm. Yo. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> that look like um kinetic sand, pink kinetic sand. Hmm. Oh, the gloves are slipping. <laughs> You look can tell it look good though. Yeah. It look good, but it smells good. I don't know if you cook is good, so. We, I shouldn't worry. <laughs> it smells like the barbecue sauce I should get in there. Mm hmm. It's barbecue sauce in here. So if you didn't know how to cook, I have to call, I have to call God to bring me to heaven. It's salt too. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do we have to like shape it into? Oh, oh, that's why we got God. the loaf pan. So that's a good question. Oh, oh, oh my but God. But if we didn't have the loaf pan, we have to shape it. We would have to shape it ourselves. Yeah. Look at that big bully on it. That boy bully. Is this gonna be like one big one, and, and mm -hmm. you gonna like split it? That box mm -hmm. is so smelling pretty good. Smell it. This is our first time uh -huh. making meatloaf because we usually eat um, meatloaf like from Walmart and it's like the um, yeah, that's the homemade. You know, like the lasagna um, that we eat like from that like brand. Mm, so it's just, yeah, we yeah. usually get like um, meatloaf from now, but now we're actually making our own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, ours is better than theirs. Okay, I'm sure it will be. Though. Yeah. But they didn't add no peppers and stuff in there. I think it was, it was just real small. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna put the meat in the pan, the little loaf pan. You don't need any grease at the bottom because the hamburger is gonna make its own grease honey. You're right. These gloves are killing me. They're sending me. They're like kind of loose, but. Mm -hmm. I still got more meat left. But we gonna work this out. I think that's enough. Think that's enough? Yeah. Okay, so you guys, we're gonna go ahead and put our meatloaf in the oven. at 375 for about 40 minutes. Y'all see that? I'm gonna push it back a little bit. Okay, for about 40 minutes. 375. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cook my corn, but I'm gonna pour out this preservative liquid and add my own water. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna season with some butter, garlic powder, mm -hmm. complete seasoning, a little salt. Okay. Okay, so you guys, I got my water going for the mashed potatoes. Okay, so you guys, we're 10 minutes in to the meatloaf. Looks really, really good so far. Okay, so you guys, this is a basting brush. That's what it's called. I didn't know what it was called. So I'm about to make the sauce. Okay, so I'm about to pour the mashed potatoes, y'all. Come on out and stop being stingy. Golly.
Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna add some butter to the mashed potatoes and some shredded triple cheddar cheese. Creamy on mashed potatoes, y'all. Creamy and cheesy. Okay, so you guys, we're 20 minutes into the meatloaf. It's looking delicious. Okay, so you guys, to make the sauce, we're gonna need three fourth cups of ketchup. A half cup of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> I'll make sure you get that um, sugar. Okay, so you guys, the meatloaf is fresh out of the oven. Now y'all see all that fat? I'm gonna pour all the fat off and then put the sauce on. And it's still gonna be juicy. Okay, so you guys, I have emptied all the fat out. Now it looks like this, it's still juicy. Okay, so you guys, Joy is gonna spread the sauce on for us. Spread it all over the top. Mm. <laughs> it's barbecue sauce. This is like giant homemade uh, uh, meatloaf. <laughs> because it is giant and it's shaped with meatloaf. So. <laughs> Y'all see her unicorn horns, y'all? <laughs> A unicorn fixing our meatloaf. <laughs> oh, blissy. Oh, God. 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 Oh, Trust me, Mama. I got oh, it. Right. No, I want to do this. You did. Oh, no, I cut off. No, it's hot. Be careful. No, I'm hot. Okay, so you guys, this is how it looks with the sauce on it. We're going to bake it for about 10 minutes on 375, and then we'll show you at the end. Okay, so you guys, the meatloaf is done. Mmm, let's cut it. Oh, y'all see that? The pebbles is just shining through. This is gonna be so good. See how it's just cutting through real easy, y'all? This is how y'all want y'all meatloaf to be. Okay? I would never steal y'all wrong. Okay? Look how it's just cutting so easily. You getting that, Taylor? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I like the end parts of the meatloaf. Okay, so you guys, this is the meatloaf after us getting a few pieces out. Mm. Okay, so you guys, this is my plate. Look how juicy it is, y'all. Oh, look at that side sauce. Yes, ma'am, huh, 
Y'all, I done taste a piece of the meatloaf and I gotta hurry up and get off the vlog, y'all. I'm for real, because it's so good. Ooh. It's so juicy. I wish y'all could try some. I know, I wish they could try some, y'all. I wish y'all could try some. Yeah, it's so good, I almost fell. <laughs> no, I better fall No. If you guys like this cooking vlog of me making meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post new content bye okay